স্যার গুড আফটারনুন হ্যাঁ গুড আফটারনুন স্যার আমাদের রিসোর্স পারসন জয়েন করে গেলে মানে আমরা স্টার্ট করে দেব হ্যাঁ 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 উনি জয়েন করবে জরুরি কাজ রয়েছে তার জন্য উনি মানে জয়েন করতে পারবেন না হ্যাঁ আমাদের মানে ভালো করে পারমিশন দিয়ে দিয়েছেন কি আপনারা করুন প্রোগ্রাম আমি হ্যাঁ বলছি নাফিসা আমি একটু নোট করে নিয়েছি সেটাই এ করব ইংরেজিতে তো হ্যাঁ স্যার হ্যাঁ ইংরেজিতে না মানে ইংরেজিতে হঠাৎ করে না আটকে যায় তখন বলতে পারি না হ্যাঁ স্যার সেটাই ভালো হবে হ্যাঁ একটু নোট করে নিয়েছি সেটা বলে দেব হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ স্যার রিসোর্স পারসন তো মানে হিন্দি বুঝবেন হিন্দি বা ইংলিশ মানে বাংলা তো উনি বুঝবেন না হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ আমি হিন্দি একদম জানি না হ্যাঁ আমি একবার কল করে দেখি হ্যাঁ কল করেন Hello, good afternoon, sir. Our resource good person afternoon. just joined us. How are you? I am fine, sir. Very nice. Good afternoon. Sir, we are happy that you joined us. Dr. Madhav Kumar, good, good afternoon. How are you? <coughs> There was one lecture in my university also from 11 to 12. And in the evening, Professor Shahab Fadal will deliver a lecture in my department uh, from 5 to 6. So, yes, today sir. we are celebrating World Environment Day. Yes, sir. That's a very important aspect. I think candidate uh, will be comfortable in English or Hindi. Uh, sir, uh, candidates are both uh, both in language, English both. or Hindi, I guess. Hindi bhi jante hai wo log. अच्छा 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 क्योंकि बंगाल में तो बंगाली चलती है लेकिन थोड़ी बहुत हिंदी भी कर दी जाएगी अभी आपके लोग जुड़े हुए हैं क्या कि आपने लिंक दिया हुआ है क्या क्या किया है यस सर only uh, we have provided that link uh, our teachers only acha uh, uh, matlab ye us par chal raha hoga kya kehte hain uh, google meet or youtube live streaming mein student log connected hai okay okay no problem so it will be at tempura we can share uh, ppt also it depends on you for yes sir, me, you, you can share uh, no for me it is not important but uh, my, what do you suggest me 
depends uh, on you. We are comfortable in both. Like. Uh, okay, okay. No problem. If a uh, student are uh, willing to uh, see the slides, then it is okay. I can share also. And for me, Extempore uh, lecture will be uh, also. I am comfortable with Extempore lecture also. Yes. Uh, I share bhi kar dunga. Agar aap paoge, to koi dikkat nahi. Aap jaisa bolo, mujhe koi dikkat nahi. Okay. Chalo, main share bhi kar dunga. Theek yes, hai. Sir. So then uh, we can uh, start. Uh, ah, sure, 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 yes. sure. Hmm. Uh, respected. Eminent Speaker, Professor A. A. R. Siddiqui Sir, Respected Dr. Madhav Kumar Vissas Sir, uh, Present uh, Mr. Gopal Chandra Roy Sir and Dr. Deepak Bhattacharya. All my colleagues and all my dear students welcome you all to our special lecture on the occasion of World Environment Day. I, Nafisha Banu, on behalf of Department of Geography, Dukulal Nibaram Chandra College, wishing you all a Happy World Environment Day 2022. I feel honored to start a very important gathering today. According to great Russian writer Leo Tolstoy, one of the first conditions of happiness is that the link between man and nature shall not be broken. The relationship between man and the environment is very important and it is essential that they understand and work to keep it up strong. Environment plays an important role in nurturing living beings. It is responsible for a healthy life and the existence of life on earth. But without understanding the importance of the environment, human is destroying it. Now every element of the environment like air, water and soil is polluted due to human activities. Unknowingly, we are calling many diseases and natural disasters by causing harm to the environment. Today is a special day that was established by the United Nations General Assembly in 1972 at the Stockholm Conference. It is a day that aims to stimulate worldwide awareness of the environment and to encourage people for the protection of the environment. Each year, the program has provided a theme. This year, theme of World Environment Day is hosted by Sweden only on earth, the slogan with focus on living sustainability in harmony with nature. I request Dr. Madhu Kumar Vishash, Associate Professor of the Department of Commerce in our college to give a welcome address. Over to you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. I am very pleased to know that the Geography Department of our college is going to organize a webinar today that is on 5th June, the World Environment Day. But I do not know that I have to deliver welcome address of the webinar. Due to some assignment, our Honorable Teacher in Charge, Mr. Ishan Ali, is not able to attend the program and I have been assigned to do the job. It has been noticed that our geography department is our full energy respect. The organization of this webinar is part of their job. So, on behalf of the college, many thanks to the department of departmental faculties, especially to Dr. Nafisa Banu, head of the department and convener of the webinar. She has so many contacts with national academicians in the field of geography. Professor A.R. Siddiqui, Secretary General of Indian Institute of Geomorphology, former head of the Department of Geography, University of Allahabad, is one of such academicians. Dr. Professor Siddiqui, I cordially welcome you in today's webinar on behalf of our college. Many thanks to you to give your valuable time to us. Physical reception is not possible today, but we want your presence later on in our college. Professor Banu is requested to see the matter. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your valuable speech and welcome at this. Today, uh -huh. our guest speaker is a very well-known person in the world of geography, Professor A.R. Siddiqui, sir. 
प्रोफेसर ये आर सिद्दीकी वे वन टू वे आर कॉलेज इन प्रेजेंट फिजिकल प्रेजेंट टू कम इन टू कम हिम इन आर कॉलेज थैंक यू थैंक यू श्योर 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 थैंक यू ओके सर नाउ कम टू द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे सो इफ ना प्रोफेसर ये आर सिद्दीकी did his bsc msc mphil and phd degree from aligarh muslim university aligarh professor okay. yair siddiqui started his initial career from choudhury chauhan singh university midar in the year 99 as a lecturer later he joined university of allahabad in the year 2001 where he is now professor he has completed nn rms training course and three international training programs sponsored by united nations he has also obtained pg diploma in geo information science a specialization in geo hazards from iirs dehradun and itc netherlands his specialization is in arid zone research urban environment issues and application of remote sensing and gis in land degradation studies he has supervised 15 phd students He has published thirty research papers and author of three books. Professor Siddiqui attended more than seventy national and international conferences. Professor Siddiqui is recipient of Excellence Award in the year two thousand eighteen by University of Allahabad. He visited France, Russia, China, Nepal, Belgium, Netherlands, Switzerland, Italy, Austria for academic purposes. Dr Siddiqui is member of various professional bodies presently he is having the responsibility of international advisor of foreign students chairman data cell nodal officer nirf ic etc he he is holding the post of senior vice president allahabad university teacher association now from the year 2016 he is holding the post of secretary general Indian Institute of Geomorphologist we are delighted sir that you have joined us i am sure that your valuable and informative speech would stimulate our knowledge which brings welfare in our society over to you sir It thank is- you uh, thank you dr nafiza banu uh, for your nice introduction for me uh, and first of all i would like to thank uh, whole uh, staff Uh, teaching staff and non-teaching staff and students of uh, your prestigious college, uh, Dukhulal Nirman Chand College, uh, which is located in uh, Murshidabad and uh, Aurangabad, Murshidabad, and I think very historical and very well known place. Um, I think there was some uh, uh, film, Bangla film was shooted in the city, as uh, known for Satyajit Ray. I think one my friend, uh, uh, professor in West Bengal, he told me that the very a uh, famous place so the city is uh, also associated with the uh, well recognized director of india uh, and world uh, satyajit ray so i would like to thank uh, all of you uh, particularly to uh, dr bardak uh, kumar vishwas ji and uh, dr ehsan ali sahab and dr deblina gosal dr farhana gora sir mandal and all uh, teachers and all the non teaching staff and students of your college and now i'd like to congratulate because uh, you have given me very pertinent topic to speak issues and challenges of environment development and sustainability and these three term is a very important in your know, geographical domain aur mere bade bhai yahan par baithe hue hain professor rameshwar prasad ji aur main inke research instinct ko dekhta hu ki hindustan mein kisi bhi prant mein agar koi bhi goshti conference या सेमिनार चल रहा हो वो चाहे वो दोपहर में हो आफ्टरनून हो इवनिंग में हो तो इनका जो ज्योग्राफी के लिए जो डेडिकेशन है उसको मैं सलाम करता हूँ और जितने इन्होंने फाउंडर्स एंड मेकर्स ऑफ इंडियन ज्योग्राफर्स पे जितना इन्होंने लेक्चर कराया और जिस डेडिकेशन के साथ ये लगे हुए हैं उसका कोई जवाब नहीं तो प्रोफेसर रामेश्वर जी मैं आपको देख पा रहा हूँ और आपको इस लेक्चर के ज्वाइन करने के लिए बहुत सारी शुभकामनाएं और बधाइयाँ तो नफीसा मैं अपनी बात इंग्लिश हिंदी और ये सारे आस्पेक्ट में मैं करूंगा लेकिन उससे पहले मैं शुरुआत करना चाहता हूं एक 
बहुत मशहूर शायर थे माधव कुमार जी जरा सा ध्यान दीजिएगा कि वो है तो उर्दू में ले लेकिन बहुत आसान करके मैं बताऊंगा तो आप समझ जाएंगे एक बहुत मशहूर शायर थे राहत इंदौरी साहब राहत इंदौरी साहब के जिनकी कोरोना के टाइम में उनकी डेथ हो गई थी उन्होंने एक शेर कहा था मैंने अपनी खुश्क आंखों से लहू छलका दिया एक समुंदर कह रहा था मुझको पानी चाहिए एक समुंदर कह रहा था मुझको पानी चाहिए मैंने अपनी खुश्क आंखों से लहू छलका दिया एक समुंदर कह रहा था मुझको पानी चाहिए तो इट डज नॉट बीन दैट वी आर वी आर हैविंग 71 परसेंट वाटर बॉडीज एंड 29 परसेंट लैंड मास बट वी आर वी आर इन क्राइसिस ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर एंड वी आर क्राइसिस ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर पोटेंशियल सो इट डज नॉट बीन दैट वी आर हैविंग ट तो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम पर्टिनेंट आस्पेक्ट रिलेटेड टू अवर थ्रस्ट एरिया एज डॉक्टर नफीसा एज ऑलरेडी मैंशन दैट दिस ईयर वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग फिफ्टी ईयर्स एंड आफ्टर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू आई यू रिमेंबर ओनली वन अर्थ वॉज द स्लोगन फॉर द फर्स्ट यूनाइटेड नेशन कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन द ह्यूमन इन्वायरमेंट विच वॉज हेल्ड इन स्टॉक होम इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू एंड दिस पुट सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट ऑन द ग्लोबल एजेंडा and led to the development of world environment day but after 50 years again uh, the, the slogan and theme was repeated you see after 50 years the same topic and because uh, matlab uh, i think uh, slow uh, theme the theme was given and seven billion dreams one planet and com, uh, and com, we common uh, with uh, care uh, so this was the pertinent theme of 2015 and later uh, in the 2018 uh, india has given one theme to what very important aspect in many uh, states uh, high court already banned uh, use of uh, polythene but uh, very abundant and there is no any strict law and Nineteen, the theme of uh, World Environment Day was beat, and in 2020, like uh, time for nation, and the, this theme was given by Colombia, and you see every theme, and the remember of theme of 2000 uh, to uh, 20 uh, 2021, and there was a theme was given by Pakistan ecosystem restoration. So always um, uh, we are having. global community and world research uh, scientists are engaged and you see in the public domain there are some pertinent topic and there are some common issues and you will see in many uh, journals many magazines and many bulletins of newspaper and tv always there is a uh, some issues related to climate change impact so there are two aspect first is uh, monitoring and mapping of environment components and dimension and another important aspect to know to detect about the visible and invisible impact of climate change you see so the, there is a the issue of identification of visible and invisible impact of climate change in the global uh, community uh, of uh, scientists and there is a serious uh, awareness and serious awakening towards the, the combating this situation and but in public domain you see these uh, pertinent issues are very common like uh, melting issue of melting glaciers uh, issue of loss of biodiversity and rise in temperature and what are the sea level impact of sea level changes and uh, decreasing sources of fresh water and cyclones and the loss of uh, biodiversity and loss of islands and changes in seasonal weather pattern this is very 
to work in the extreme weather uh, conditions because uh, in the field of climatology many scientists these are working in uh, impact of extreme weather events so the uh, another important aspect uh, to work in the field of ocean acidification desertification and drought related studies and displacement of the population and why migration mobility is from uh, south india to towards north india and there are the loss of attraction of tourist places and human adaptation to different types of environment so these are the important aspects but is belong to geography geology economics sociology or any other uh, humanity uh, related to humanity subject so there are some common issues and every uh, academician every scientist every student are in uh, are in the um, uh, 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 willing to uh, get the answer and why uh, there are some reporting related to the world island take an example of fiji and uh, in the near future there is a risk of uh, um, uh, flooding uh, and you can take an example of amazon forest and even today if you check uh, the website firms f i r m s and you will find in many places in uttarakhand and in many parts of uh, world you will find there is forest fire and this is the month of april may, may and june and you will find there is a uh, occurrence of forest fire and there is a evidence of um, uh, amazon forest uh, rain forest fire and take a, um, take an example uh, during uh, COVID, corona time there was a forest fire and you can give an example of uh, maldives in which uh, the former president of maldives mentioned that we are not going uh, to become the first victim of the climate crisis in near future many world island are under the threat so you see um, uh, the, uh, various other example can be cited here example of alaska which is a rugged peak and rushing rivers and beautiful terrain make for ice firing tourist destination but in uh, after covid uh, there is a uh, there uh, there is a no uh, less attraction of tourists in these places and you can cite example of great barrier reef also and great barrier reef uh, which has suffered an 89% decrease in um, new era and uh, you see uh, there is a <clears throat> example of uh, victoria falls and zimbabwe region in africa there is a, uh, evidence of uh, drought like condition and very dry uh, severe drought uh, caused by climate change have caused the waterfall flow to begin dropping according to the united nation climate change plan and many other example can be cited from uh, national park montana and glacial national park in montana is the risk to losing its the star attraction as global warming melts the park uh, uh, you can take an example so uh, antarctica is one of the tourist destination where the impact of climate change is perhaps the most obvious and the air temperature on the southernmost continent which is hosted uh, 50000 tourists in 2018 but now you see in in the world in the all continents you can uh, easily uh, detect the evidences of climate change and evidences uh, of uh, visible and invisible impact of climate change so there is issue of mapping and monitoring of environmental degradation and issue of mapping and monitoring the evidences of visible and invisible uh, impact of climate change but now question arises as a student and a student of geography as a researcher as a academician so there are some dimensions of climate change related issues and if you are engaged in research and if you are doing some uh, uh, research related to climate change study and i know that there is a uh, many student belong to geography as a subject and after pg and after ug you will find how we are going to um, select how you are going to finalize your synopsis for phd and you are uh, how you are going to finalize your your phd topic and in in which university you are going to get admission you will find and what are the applied aspect in the geography as a discipline and you will find the role uh, of climate and what is the role of climate 
what is the impact of climate on soil and what is the impact of uh, climate on, on soil erosion and what is the relationship between climate and uh, vegetation and what is the relationship between climate and forest and vegetation fraction cover uh, change and everywhere there is a, a climate so so you climate is climate is a denominator and you see what is the impact the uh, relationship between climate and ecological productivity climate and hydrological processes climate and land for processes climate and agriculture climate and urbanization agriculture and urbanization itself is a very big domain and climate and human health climate and tourism climate and transport and climate and sustainability and you see every every dimension is very important and having good scope for research and having good scope for monitoring and mapping of uh, current status every dimension whether it is related to uh, relationship between climate and tourism industry or climate and transport or climate and sustainability i am simply using the word sustainability i am not using the word agricultural sustainability or ecological sustainability or political economic sustainability because these are the simply term so everywhere there uh, there is the issue of climate and so there is a very important thing to monitor the visible and invisible impact of the climate change because we are doing research in the field of desertification or droughts so what will be the parameters and how you are going to assess the de uh, decline in uh, soil production potential this is the very big issue for researcher and scientist so simply you see uh, geographers are having a wide canvas and a wide scope for research and development and every aspect of monitoring and mapping is important but ma mapping and monitoring of geographical um, indicators is a very difficult task because in the timeline frame every day we are changing learning so it is very difficult to monitor it is very difficult to monitor the current status of the environment so you see there are various aspects and you see likewise uh, in uh, um, geographical uh, domain uh, nowadays uh, our uh, geographers community and those who are doing mphil and phd and after uh, master degree uh, they are planning in the world community of uh, geographers you will find a lot of uh, new field have been emerged like uh, many uh, researchers are worker uh, working in the field of water resource management because this is a very pertinent issue india is uh, uh, india i think is having th uh, uh, 13th position you can uh, cite example of chennai there is a no there is a no there is a shortage of water i think there is a, a zero uh, ground water potential in chennai in many countries you can take an example of water crisis in 2022 and there is a crisis of drinking water in various various metropolitan metropolitan cities of india so there is another important aspect um, land resource management so three things are important monitoring of land monitoring and mapping of land uh, resource management and monitoring and mapping of water and monitoring and mapping of vegetation fraction cover so these are the important aspect and this uh, today we are celebrating world environment day and without uh, discussion on water land water and vegetation i think it will be it will not be fulfilled so water resource management land resource management and land evaluation is very important aspect how you are going to um, give the classification of land and what is the production potential of the land how you are going to relate with the population demand in future so every aspect is important in geography and geographic hazard disaster management and agriculture and soil urban and regional planning population dynamics and we are not having much information about land as land use and land cover and um, population characteristics so you see and there is there, there is need to understand the properly about the population characteristics characteristics 
those who are working in the field of sociology and economics and geography and you will see a publication of international institute of population studies many social scientists are working in the population characteristics of the world as well as in india so there are uh, certain population characteristics like uh, um, birth rate death rate migration occupational structure uh, life expectancy literacy and uh, rural urban uh, composition uh, uh, so these are the important aspect if you are uh, going to monitor uh, if you are going to assess the scenario of population characteristics and how you are going to relate uh, population dynamics with the uh, agricultural aspect so these are the important aspect in the geographical domain so many scientists and many researcher are working in atmospheric sciences climate change extreme weather events oceanic modeling nowadays there is a new term deep oceanic mining and ecology and environment monitoring and mapping uh, and uh, many uh, scientists are working in the field of disaster management also so you see there are various dimension and uh, geographers is directly related to these aspect but in the public domain now i am going to make a distinction between um, research domain and public domain but the in the public domain in the society only we are concerned about the depletion of vegetation cover and forest and how uh, what is the percentage of tree cover in murshidabad and what is the percentage of tree cover in prayagraj and what is the percentage uh, of tree cover in kolkata so it is very important aspect but we are not having uh, is small is small thing we are not having a uh, very fundamental information related to our uh, environment uh, environment uh, issues so uh, th there is a issue of uh, depletion of vegetation cover and forest in public domain and there is a very common issue of mapping of water table heterogeneity and what is the status of a uh, pre monsoon condition what is the status of ground water level in pre monsoon condition and what is the status of uh, post monsoon condition in um, uh, ground water uh, scenario so uh, many things in many major cities in metropolitan cities this uh, thing is very pertinent to map the um, water table heterogeneity in the city so now you see you will find there is a great demand now you remember Uh, election of 2014 uh, election of delhi when uh, K, uh, chief minister of delhi promised to um, delhi people that uh, if, if i won the election i will provide uh, one, uh, 740 liters of water and 300 unit of electricity to every family now you see water is important and 140 liter uh, water is required for every person per per day per capita uh, water requirement is 140 liter and there is a consumption of uh, 4 g polythene per capita and there is a the generation of solid waste 473 g uh, per capita now you can multiply with the population of your city suppose i am residing uh, i am i am living in uh, prayagraj and there is a the population of 20 lakhs and if any body is uh, generating 4 g polythene per day So you multiply twenty lakhs into four gram divided by one thousand, and you will find eight thousand kilogram generation of polythene is every day. Likewise, you can calculate um, generation of solid waste from the residents, and four hundred seventy gram of uh, solid waste is generating uh, per capita. So uh, you can uh, imagine uh, how management is possible in metropolitan areas. so there is a some pertinent issues in public domain on this occasion we want to discuss lies like uh, depletion of vegetation cover and uh, cover and forests is important mapping of water table heterogeneity is important mapping of wetland and small rivers you you see there is need to rejuvenate the small rivers there is need to locate the um, wetlands in every city Uh, particularly in bengal there is a no issue there is a very common and there is uh, wetland is distributed uh, as compared to uttar pradesh uh, wetland is more in west bengal but in uttar pradesh jharkhand and bihar 
and the wetland already disappear so you see there is the issue of mapping and monitoring of river health also in many holy rivers and you will find you will find nala nalas are flowing towards holy rivers so there is a license um, of uh, many uh, leather industries and they are uh, they are um, flowing uh, they are producing uh, liquid waste uh, to nala uh, to uh, holy rivers and many other important things i like growth of vehicles i you, you can calculate that uh, um, half liter petrol 500 uh, ml petrol uh, consumption of per capita in every city so there is the issue of um, energy resource also and urban housing space in many cities horizontal expansion of earth is not possible but you will see after uh, 1995 there is a drastic change in urban land use and and uh, urban uh, morphology of major cities and you will find that there is a vertical expansion of the population and uh, always in major cities you will find there is there is problem of traffic and there is no parking so everywhere loss of biodiversity is very important aspect and extreme weather events is very important uh, aspect but we are not doing what will be the impact of uh, desertification so here uh, there are some pertinent topic which are visible and global uh, scientists students academician environmentalist are serious but there are some invisible things like desertification and there is a evidence of weakening of land production potential but how you will monitor now i am giving task and please uh, tell me the uh, growth of population is high and there is a limited agricultural land and how will combat the situation if the land production potential is decreasing decreasing remember the year 1798 when uh, robert balthus published a paper and essay on population and he has given there is a growth of population in geometric form but of, uh, uh, food grain production in arithmetic uh, arithmetic progression so in 1790 1798 this was the situation but in 2022 now there is the issue of uh, detection of land decreasing production potential so this is a very pertinent topic and there is the issue of sustainability of land production potential and every aspect uh, like visible or and invisible and another important term uh, which i want to draw your attention issue of sustainability like uh, sustainability is also an english term and you put with the uh, ecology it will become ecological sustainability and we we you you put uh, this water with uh, environment it will become the environmental sustainability economic sustainability social sustainability political instability or instability but uh, now you all remember um, sustainable development concept and there was a one uh, document and one paper uh, very uh, popular um, paper um, report uh, our common future and now you remember uh, the work of uh, uh, former president of india late uh, apj abdul kalam sahab uh, india vision 2020 he has mentioned in the book three uh, three things are important first is uh, preservation and conservation and protection of the environment is the first thing and second thing is welfare of the society and third thing judicious use of resources but he has given emphasis to technological ability yani rashtra ki shakti jo hai prodhagiki pe chhipi hui hai koi rashtra viksit tabhi kehlayega जब वो टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट को अडॉप्ट करेगा तो प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर कलाम हैज मेंशन ऑफ देयर शुड बी फुल केयर ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट एंड देयर शुड बी वेलफेयर ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड देयर शुड बी ज्यूडिशियस यूज ऑफ रिसोर्सेज एंड देयर शुड बी एडॉप्टेशन ऑफ न्यू इनोवेशन एंड न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी देन वी कैन डेवलप सो नाउ सी द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इनोवेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज वेरी न्यू एंड द लास्ट सेवेंटी ईयर्स and you will find uh, you will find in 1972 uh, we have already started the use of satellite data and remote sensing after 1975 uh, bill gates like uh, microsoft uh, ms word 
and in uh, 1995 uh, um, internet and um, uh, google was started and in 2004 facebook and all these things so there is a uh, sacrifice and there is a contribution of world scientists in the modern era we are using technology so uh, there is a need to adopt the technology and we have to monitor we have to explain uh, the ecological sustainability, monumental sustainability, economic sustainability, social sustainability, <coughs> uh, political sustainability. So these are the important terms, but uh, monitoring and mapping of these aspects is very difficult task. And if anybody is uh, uh, telling that I'm going to prepare the map, so always map is a changing phenomena. There is a map is dynamic entity. Every day there is a change. How you are going to update your information? This is the issue. But in India, or in Uttar Pradesh, or in Bengal, or in your study area, or in Murshidabad, everywhere, if we want to study anything, we have to study about the deviation, all types of deviations, like uh, deviations in topographical features. La India is having 2.4% geographical area. But you, you see, in India, Every classification, whether it is related to the agricultural classification as given by D. Vitalsi in 1936, or you can relate major natural regions, which was given by uh, Habertson in 1906, or you, uh, you can cite here the climate classification by given by Copens, Trivartha, and Thornwitz, and Mix. So all, uh, all geographers have given their classification and forest classification was given by H.G. Champion and Sage. So every class classification was given in 20th century and 20th century is very important. So if you want to uh, uh, give example from India and you see the prosperity of India and from Ladakh to Thar Desert, from Plateau environment, mountain environment, hill environment, and desert environment, coastal environment, every type of environment is there. So without studying, without considering variables and in the deviation in topographical features, variables and indicators related to meteorological characteristics, variables and indica indicators related to distribution of population, variables and indicators related to the percentage of net zone area, grass zone area, method of cultivation of, uh, of practicing agriculture, method of practicing agriculture and diffusion of innovation and what are the agroclimatic variations in India. So uh, without considering these uh, variation and these uh, uh, indicator, it is not possible to discuss uh, to make up uh, any vision plan or any development plan or any wide document for the uh, purpose of planning and development. In India, a lot of diversity is there, and uh, you see there is a 10.6 percent geographical area, geographical area devoted to uh, mountain environment, and 18.5 percent geographical area devoted to hill environment, and 27.7 percent geographical area to plateau environment, and 43.2 percent geographical area to plain environment. And you see there is a desert, eco, uh, desert um, environment also and 12% geographical area devoted to desert environment. But without studying um, deviation in rainfall, rainfall pattern, if Cherapunji and Mohsin Gram uh, are receiving highest rain, rainfall in Meghale, it does not mean that there is no uh, problem of groundwater in Meghale. And you will find uh, the slope is dominant factor in Meghale. And uh, likewise, uh, you, we have to study about the um, heterogeneity, the pattern of uh, hydrological um, uh, deviations and um, agricultural deviations and extreme weather events. Duniya mein sabse jada adhyan jo ho raha hai wo charam jalwaayu ki ghatnaon se kis prakar se jansankhya prabhavi do rahi hai. Us par hum log kaam kar rahe hai sabhi log. लेकिन सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट मैंने भी एक सेमिनार में वेबिनार में बोला था वी हैव टू सी वी हैव टू सी द इश्यूज एंड चैलेंजेस स्टेट वाइज नाउ यू टेक एन एग्जांपल ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश इज हैविंग वेरी मतलब लार्ज कैनवास 
of planning and development and having 16.50 percent total population of India. But you cannot compare Uttar Pradesh with Bihar and with Bengal. And both states are having equal to Uttar Pradesh population. How you can compare with Uttar Pradesh and Bengal with uh, uh, Bihar and Bengal with Uttar Pradesh? So there are groupings of state, and you can make a group of Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and Odisha. It will become uh, Uttar Pradesh. And another group you can uh, study about the Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan, Karnataka, and it will become Uttar Pradesh because the total population of Tamil Nadu and Rajasthan and Karnataka is equal to Uttar Pradesh. So issues and challenges varies from area to area. So it is not, uh, uh, this is not common. We cannot compare um, issues and challenges of any state is equal to issues and challenges of um, another state. So we have to identify, uh, we have to um, detect the problems and we have to um, assess the potential of any study area, how, how ca we can make a plan. Because in northern eastern state, and there are um, 17 states, um, small, small states are having equal to equal population to Uttar Pradesh. So every state is having its own specific and uh, characteristics. So every uh, geographical region uh, requires a special attention for, for planning and development. And geographer, economist, and um, uh, sociologists are working for that. Now you see, there are some important aspects like uh, in India, if you want to transform India, then uh, this is very important aspect and our students are not knowing that uh, on the basis of 2011, um, there are um, 6 lakh 49,408 one villages in India. 6 lakh 49,408 one villages in India. But uh, you, you know, um, the distribution and pattern of villages uh, of India, uh, only Uttar Pradesh is having 1,7753 villages. So, uh, there is an issue, like 68.84% population of India are residing in rural area. But 31.16% population of India are residing in urban area. So, which type of planning? and which type of planning elements and which type of uh, vision is required. If, want, if we want to develop uh, India, then we have to focus in our rural areas. India is having very large uh, education system also. In India, there are 1,053 universities. In India, there are 40,000 PG and UG colleges. And in India, everywhere there is a 1,61,000 PhD doctorate, PhD student, uh, they get uh, PhD degree. So, if you want to change um, uh, whole um, transformation of whole the country, then we have to uh, give uh, emphasis to rural area also because 68.84% uh, population are residing in rural area. So, there are various dichotomy um, uh, and dualism in the uh, approaches to study development also because uh, only we are studying about the um, environment. Uh, by definition, environment is uh, simply uh, aggregation of external condition that affect life and development of the people. Yani paryavaran sari bahari dashaon ka yog hai, jo ki manush ke jivan aur vikas ko prabhavit karta hai. But the de development, uh, development is the process of economic growth and social change. We have to uh, make an uh, make an attempt to assess the uh, economic landscape, social landscape, and environmental landscape. Without assessment of economy, society, environment, sustainable, uh, sustainability cannot be achieved. So there is a uh, uh, there is the issue of sustainable environment, sustainable development. So without assessment of economic aspect like production, distribution, exchange, and um, exchange and transportation. It is not. Uh, it is. Uh, it is very important aspect in the economic geography. So, economy, society, environment are the three pillars of the sustainability. So, these are the important aspect, and there are various approaches to study development. There is a dichotomy in the study of development, like that. There is a dichotomy of growth versus distribution, 
and there is a dichotomy of planning um, planning aspect in the uh, domain of uh, uh, urban development and rural development what type of development is required in india whether should be agricultural development or industrial development modern development or traditional development physical development or in infrastructure in infrastructure development everywhere is, we are divided one scientific uh, scientific community uh, are in favor to develop to rural area first there is the concept of pura providing urban amenities in rural area and one scientific community in favor of urban development so uh, both aspect are important so everywhere we have to explore the possibilities uh, whether it should be related to growth versus distribution of commodities or Uh, um, uh, planning and development related to agriculture versus uh, industrial development or capital versus intensive uh, development or social uh, versus economic uh, or physical planning development every aspect requires a matlab um, uh, attention of global scientists but the term environment denotes um, aggregate of external condition that affect the life and development environment is also simply a term and you can put this term with the uh, Uh, social it will become social environment economic environment political environment religious religious environment but my recommendation to the student to make an assessment of society economic and polity because as a student of geography we uh, study about the lithospheric environment as i have already men uh, already mentioned that in, in geography we give emphasis to mountain environment plateau environment pedogenic environment and plain environment but if i ask any question to a student of geography how many major cities are located in plateau environment and uh, how many city how many percent of population are uh, concentrated in hill environment uh, you cannot relate with the geographical region with the political region in foreign countries you will find major cities of the world like uh, in france germany everywhere masco everywhere you will find the major city are located city are located near the river but in india the uh, situation is uh, different hum log hamesha jo hai nadiyon se bhagte gaye aur bade shahar matlab us tarah se development nahi ho paya jaisa ki videshon mein nadiyon ke kinare bade bade shahar vikshit hue to now we have to explore all the aspect i had already mentioned जो जो पब्लिक डोमेन में जो चीजें हैं और जो साइंटिफिक कम्युनिटी में जो चीजें हैं उनको दोनों चीजों को हमको एक्सप्लोर करना पड़ेगा वेदर इट इज रिलेटेड टू डिप्लीशन ऑफ वेजिटेशन कवर और फॉरेस्ट और जनरेशन ऑफ पॉलिथीन और जनरेशन ऑफ सॉलिड वेस्ट और लिक्विड वेस्ट तो ये तो कॉमन इंटरेस्ट की चीजें हैं लेकिन वी यू लास्ट ईयर देर वॉज ए थीम री इमेजिन रिक्रिएट री स्टोर and uh, mountain environment plateau environment uh, plain environment pedogenic environment as a geographer we have to uh, make a plan and planning but our generation is not knowing what is the current state of the forest um, hum log ye nahi jante ki jo state forest report uh, upload hui hai usko download karke dekhe ki what is the situation of tree tree cover i am giving example of uttar pradesh in bareilly districts only Uh, Bareilly city only 1.09% tree cover is there. In Jhansi only 5.4%. In uh, Prayagraj only 2.36% forest cover is there. In uh, Lucknow 14.9.9%. In Uttar Pradesh average forest uh, till plant cover is uh, 6.88%. So this is the situation of uh, Gangetic Plain, which is very prosperous. And you can compare Upper Ganga Plain, Middle Ganga Plain, Lower Ganga Plain. दुनिया की जितनी भी सभ्यताएं हैं आप उनसे कंपेयर कर सकते हैं और ये जो मध्य गंगा का मैदान है सबसे ज्यादा विकसित जो है संस्कृति आपको यहाँ देखे देखने को मिलेगी आज बिहार और बंगाल और आंध्र प्रदेश और उड़ीसा संपन्नताओं वाला प्रदेश है लेकिन वहां पर अर्बनाइजेशन बहुत कम है उत्तर प्रदेश में इन इन बिहार ओनली एलेवन पॉइंट पॉपुलेशन आर विद राइडिंग इन अर्बन एरिया तो वाई क्वेश्चन 
and but our scientist community and many scientists in Indian Institute of Remote Sensing and GIS and Dehradun and many uh, central universities, many young geographers and scientists are working in the field of hydrological modeling, monitoring of surface water, body and mapping and monitoring of soil erosion and soil moisture condition and monitoring and mapping of snow and glaciers and drought monitoring and many scientists are using satellite drive data and geographic information system software uh, in their uh, um, in their studies. So there is a some applied aspect in geography uh, as I have already mentioned about the water shed characterization and snow and glacier um, melting and uh, runoff modeling and uh, desertification and drought like condition. So these are the important aspect and applied aspect if you are going to um, uh, take uh, this topic in your PhD and it will help and if you are going to uh, write a paper on this aspect and I think this paper will publish. So our government from uh, 1974, uh, you sometime you visit to government website, uh, our students are not uh, using government website. Sometimes you visit to Ministry of Environment, sometimes you visit to Ministry of Water Resources and you will find a lot of new things. Our government is already doing. Remember the command area development which was uh, initiated in 1974 and there was an objective to improve the irrigation potential utilization. I am talking about uh, 1974, after 1972, first theme, after first theme, there was a, a command area development program our India government uh, has initiated, uh, government initiated the command area development program in 1974 and the main objective of command area development was to improve the irrigation potential utilization. And there are various other uh, programs of the government like integrated watershed management program. Um, uh, the objective of uh, integrated watershed management program was to restore ecological balances by harnessing and conserving uh, and developing degraded uh, natural um, uh, for natural uh, resources uh, with the creation of uh, rural employment. So, this is not the government has always been doing something. You can take an example. The Desert Development Program was also in 1995. And in Rajasthan, the Central Arid Zone Research Institute Kajri was built in 1958-59. So to minimize the adverse effect of drought and to rejuvenate the natural resources. So, Hamesha government has uh, a lot of programs uh, related to soil conservation and uh, national reforestation program, national, uh, national action uh, program to combat desertification. But our students, hai, fodder and feed development school, uh, scheme, our students are not going to go to the government. We are not in practice to use the website of the government and government agenda. Otherwise, you will find the vision of Indian government, vision of state government. This is a very important aspect for a student. Sometimes sometime you visit to uh, go official uh, website of the uh, various government agencies and you will find a lot of work related to ecosystem and component, component of ecosystem and environmental valuation and environmental impact assessment. You will find a lot of work related to these aspects. It is related with the polythene waste generation or marine pollution, noise pollution, soil pollution and air pollution. And you will find a new information and new research paper and you will find uh, the, uh, some work uh, already have been um, done in West Bengal also. One of my friends, Professor Sunil Kumar Day, already published a book of Springer River related to river health environment and uh, some of uh, Geomorphologists are uh, doing very good work in West Bengal particularly and uh, you remember the goals of sustainable development goal. As I already mentioned um, um, within document like uh, report our common future and uh, you will find uh, all the uh, 17 goals of uh, sustainable development. Everything is there uh, like uh, issue of no poverty, zero hunger, gender inequality, quality education life uh, below water and um, there are many other things like climate action and um, there are some uh, things related to the poverty, clean water, every everything is there. But we are not having much information 
about the rural planning development aspect we are having concern about the metropolitanization and uh, major cities but we are not thinking about the rural sustainability there are uh, various uh, sustainable rural elements of uh, sustainable rural development planning and uh, um, issues related to social forestry and farm forestry fisheries drinking water fuel and fodder uh, rural roads uh, rural electric electricity rural housing and small scale industries and uh, poverty ele elevation program education skill development family planning and welfare public public distribution uh, distribution system and national rural livelihood mission and remember the um, program of government of india skill development so now we should concern about the competency mapping of the country hame dakshita mapan ki baat karni hai agar 78.84% population rural areas mein reh rahi hai aur hame apni population ki competency ke bare mein nahi pata hai ki kaun kitna competent hai hame skill development ki baat nahi pata hai to hum planning aur development ki baat nahi kar sakte तो लैंड और रिक्लेमेशन के साथ साथ एग्रीकल्चरल डेवलपमेंट के साथ साथ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल एक्सेसिबिलिटी यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ लोकल रिसोर्सेज यूटिलाइजेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज इंकरेजमेंट टू रूरल इंडस्ट्रीज यूनिट एंड पब्लिक यूटिलिटीज एंड लैंड मैनेजमेंट आस्पेक्ट एंड डेवलपमेंट सेंटर सर्विस सेंटर एवरी भूगोल वित्ता के जोग्राफर्स के डोमेन में है अर्थशास्त्री और समाज शास्त्री और भूगोल वेताओं की एक बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी होती है इन सारी चीजों को मॉनिटर करने की मैप करने की चाहे वो रूरल मार्केटिंग के डायमेंशन हो चाहे वो प्रोग्राम रिलेटेड टू रूरल यूथ हो और यूज ऑफ इंडिजिनस नॉलेज हो या यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ लोकल रिसोर्स स्थानीय संसाधनों का प्रयोग करना जानना हो या एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ रूरल वीमेन की बात हो या रूरल मार्केटिंग में हम खाद्यान्न की बात करते हैं लेकिन लाइफ स्टॉक डेवलपमेंट की बात नहीं करते हैं हम पॉपुलेशन डेवलपमेंट की बात करते हैं लेकिन लाइफ स्टॉक डेवलपमेंट की बात नहीं करते हैं तो वो जब सारे आस्पेक्ट जिसमें हम सेक्टोरल इंटीग्रेशन स्पेशल इंटीग्रेशन सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशनल इंटीग्रेशन और टेक्नोलॉजिकल इकोलॉजिकल इंटीग्रेशन और इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन इसको लेकर नहीं चलेंगे यानी इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वेरियस कंपोनेंट ऑफ रूरल रूरल डेवलपमेंट रिक्वायर्ड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वेरियस कंपोनेंट ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड सेक्टोरल इंटीग्रेशन स्पेशल इंटीग्रेशन सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशनल इंटीग्रेशन टेक्नोलॉजिकल इकोलॉजिकल इंटीग्रेशन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन तो ये सारी चीजें जब तक हम एक्सप्लोर नहीं करेंगे तो जो मैंने गवर्नमेंट की स्कीम बताई चाहे वो कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम उन्नीस सौ बावन का हो नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू का चाहे इंटेंसिव एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन का हो या स्मॉल फार्मर्स डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी 1969 का हो प्रोग्राम फॉर मार्जिनल फार्मर्स एग्रीकल्चर 71 का हो इसी तरह से जो हमारे आई एस की तैयारी बच्चे करते हैं हिल एरिया डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम 1971 ड्राउट प्रोन एरिया डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम 73 का हो कमांड एरिया डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम चौहत्तर 1974 का मैंने बताया ट्राइबल एरिया डेवलपमेंट सेवेंटी बताया ये जितने भी प्रोग्राम है उनको जवाहर जवाहर रोजगार योजना 1989 और जितने भी रोजगार योजना है वाटर शेड प्रोग्राम 1995 मनरेगा यानी महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूर, रूरल यूथ एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी प्रोग्राम एक्ट जो था 2005 का डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट जो बिल आया 2005 में बायोडाइवर्सिटी 2002 में आया फूड सिक्योरिटी 2013 में आया तो एवरी आस्पेक्ट वी हैव टू एक्सप्लोर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ प्लानिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट तो ये केवल थीम वर्ल्ड इन्वायरमेंट का वी हैव ओनली वन प्लेनेट वी हैव ओनली वन ग्लोब ये थीम इसलिए नहीं दिया जाता है कि हम दिवस मनाएं और उस दिन को उस चीज को करें ये थीम इसलिए दिया जाता है कि हमारे जो एकेडमिक वर्ल्ड के लोग हैं जो कॉलेजेस में यूनिवर्सिटीज में टीचर्स कम्युनिटी हैं शोध कर रहे हैं रिसर्च कर रहे हैं यूजी पी कर रहे हैं उनके सामने इसकी इतनी ज्यादा बात होनी चाहिए कि आने वाले दिनों में जब वो पीएचडी करें और हायर एजुकेशन के लिए जाएं तो उनके सामने बहुत सारे डायमेंशन हो जिसमें वो उसको रिसर्च करें और अपने गुरु अपने अपने टीचर्स का अपने कॉलेज का अपने क्षेत्र का प्रदेश का और देश का नाम रोशन करें
तो दिस वाज माय मैसेज टू माय मतलब आवर स्टूडेंट दोज आर इन पीजी और यूजी तो लाइक वाइज दे कैन अपडेट देयर इंफॉर्मेशन एंड दे कैन मेक देयर करियर बाय ऑप्टिंग दीज इशूज बाय सिलेक्टिंग दीज थीम एंड टॉपिक इन देयर एकेडमिक डोमेन एंड दे कैन गेट बेटर अपॉर्चुनिटी इन द यूनिवर्सिटीज टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑफ द कंट्री एंड अब्रॉड ऑल्सो तो आई थिंक nafisa i have uh, covered a lot of lot of thing related to environment uh, dimension development and sustainability and i would like to thank uh, dr madhav kumar vishwas ji and whole um, teaching staff and non teaching staff of your prestigious seat of learning particularly to my elder brother uh, professor rameshwar uh, prasad ji jo yahan par hain main apni kitni baat uh, kehne mein safal ho paya ये तो हमको रामेश्वर जी ही बताएंगे लेकिन मैंने जैसा कि पहले शुरुआत में ही बात कह दी थी कि मैंने अपनी खुश आंखों से लहू छलका दिया एक समुंदर कह रहा था मुझको पानी चाहिए तो हम लोगों के पास बहुत कुछ सब कुछ हो लेकिन इसका मतलब नहीं है इकहत्तर सेवेंटी वन परसेंट वाटर बॉडीज हैं लेकिन पीने के लिए पानी नहीं है सच्चाई यही है कि पचास साल पहले से हम लोग बिस्लेरी की बोतल को खरीद रहे हैं पहले वो इलीट क्लास में था फिल्मों में दिखाया जाता था कि पानी की बोतल खरीद के पीते हुए फिल्म इंडस्ट्री के लोग नजर आते थे आज ये पब्लिक में चला आया है और आदमी बीस रुपए की पंद्रह रुपए की दस रुपए की बोतल खरीद के पानी पीता है हम लोगों के बचपन में स्कूल में एक पानी की टंकी लगी होती थी और टोटी से पानी को पी लिया करते थे न कभी बीमारी आती थी न कुछ आता था आज ये संभव नहीं कि स्कूल में लगाई गई टंकी और उसमें पानी भरा हो और हमारे बच्चे पानी पिए और बीमार ना हो तो आने वाले दिनों में जो जनरेशन को चाहिए अगर वो मन नीड एंड एस्पायरेशन ऑफ द पीपल टू बी मेड विदाउट कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग द नीड एंड एस्पायरेशन ऑफ द फ्यूचर जनरेशन जो कि सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट कहा कहा गया है तो हमको इन सारे एस्पेक्ट की मैपिंग और मॉनिटरिंग की बात करते रहना चाहिए और थैंक यू डॉक्टर नफीसा फॉर गिविंग मे एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर माई व्यूज रिलेटेड टू इन्वायरमेंटल issues and environment development and sustainability aspect thank you very much nafiza aap unmute ho jaye aawaz nahi aa rahi yes uh, thank you sir for your sharing your valuable and motivated thoughts this was an enriching and informative deliberation which definitely will bring up environmental awareness to our society our students also now the session is open for question and answers uh, if anyone has any questions i am sure sir would be pleased to answer them yes आपके जितने भी स्टूडेंट हैं सबको आईआई की कॉन्फ्रेंस में कहिए ज्वाइन करें हर साल बहुत ही अच्छे पेपर पढ़े जाते हैं और बंगाल के बहुत सारे रिसर्चर हमारे आईजीआई में हैं और उनकी वजह से हर साल हम लोग कॉन्फ्रेंस कर पाते हैं तो मैं सबको इनवाइट कर रहा हूं एज ए सेक्रेटरी जनरल आई मेरा नंबर भी सबको शेयर कर दीजिएगा ई दे दीजिएगा तो जितने भी फ्यूचर जोग्राफर्स हैं जितने भी फ्यूचर जोग्राफर हैं सब एक दूसरे से मिलकर कनेक्ट होके और जुड़ कर रहे और आने वाले दिनों में एक टीम की तरह काम करें थैंक यू सर नेक्स्ट टाइम हमारे सर स्टूडेंट जाएंगे आईजीआई जी आई श्योर श्योर थैंक यू सर वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम समायुन मॉन्डल can we reduce the negative impact on environment producing by those who can afford ac single car etc if yes how bahut acha sawal pucha hai unhone ye to dekhiye jo awareness program hote hain ki jo development ke dimension hai we cannot reduce because uh, now it is in metropolitan culture you see and there is a consumption uh, of every matlab luxurious things and in every uh, house you will find two or three ac and in every house you will find two or three vehicles 
in the materialistic world we are using more and more but we have to explore the alternative sources of energy kitna kam kar sakte hain kitni technology kitni efficiency badha sakte hain alternate kis prakar se taiyar kar sakte hain aur samaj mein jaakar we can enhance the awareness how electricity is important how wastage waste about wastage wastage nahi hona chahiye to ye basically jagrukta awareness और कंपेन से है जब भी कोई चीज आएगी तो आप ये नहीं कह सकते कि आप किसी पे आप प्रतिबंध लगा दीजिए वी कैन नॉट इम्पोज इन अमेरिका इन फ्रांस एवरी वेयर विल फाइंड अगर लाइट एक घंटे के लिए चली जाए तो उनका जीवन जो है वो एकदम अपार्टमेंट में फ्लैट में रह नहीं सकते और वहां पर जो ट्वेंटी फोर आवर सारी चीजें हैं तो ये आप नहीं कह सकते कि आप ए को कैसे करें बट एवरी टाइम वी आर इन सर्च ऑफ न्यू थिंग्स एंड इन सर्च ऑफ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इफिशियंट टेक्नोलॉजी और किस प्रकार से अल्टरनेटिव यूज कर सकते हैं उसी पे सारी चीजें हैं लेकिन जो भी चीजें आएंगी आज हमारे चार साल के बच्चे स्मार्टफोन चला रहे हैं जबकि पहली बार हमको छत्तीस साल की उम्र में मोबाइल मिला लेकिन हमारी जो जनरेशन है बहुत तेज जा रही है और पांच पांच छह छह पीढ़ियां एक साथ चल रही है हमसे सात आठ साल जो छोटा है वो दूसरी जनरेशन का है तो ये पीढ़ियां जो है पांच छह पीढ़ियां एक साथ चल रही है तो अगर हम इसके लिए अल्टरनेटिव या कुछ इस तरह से नई रिसर्चेस को करके नहीं जाएंगे तो ये आने वाले दिनों में सबके लिए सब सारी चीजें उपलब्ध नहीं रहेंगी तो आपने अच्छा सवाल पूछा है तो जब हम सोसाइटी में जाके इसको कंपेन करेंगे अल्टरनेटिव सोर्सेज को ढूंढेंगे और इसके उपयोग की इंपॉर्टेंस सिग्निफिकेंस को जानेंगे तभी हम सारी चीजों को रिड्यूस कर सकते हैं लेकिन मना नहीं कर सकते कि आप ए ना चलाई मेरे घर में ए लगा है अगर हमको गर्मी लग रही है और ए हमारे पास उसको सहन करने की क्षमता है तो हम उसको यूज करेंगे लेकिन कितना यूज करेंगे कितना कम से कम कर सकते हैं कितने ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोग उसका लाभ उठा सकते हैं एक कार है उसमें अगर चार लोग जा सकते हैं एक साथ बैठ के तो अकेले आदमी को कार नहीं चलाना चाहिए तो ये डिपेंड करता है सोसाइटी पर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर आई होप मिस्टर समायुल यू गॉट योर एंसर प्रॉब्लम हो कैसी भी बात हो आप शेयर कर सकते हैं ठीक है ना थैंक यू थैंक यू नाउ आई लाइक टू कॉल देवोलिना घोषल मैडम assistant professor of department of geography for vote of thanks thank you madam a very good afternoon to all of you honorable dignitaries and most valued guests it is my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this special online lecture on world environmental day on behalf of department of geography dukhulal nibaran chandra college we want to express our gratitude to distinguished speaker professor ar siddiqui sir former head department of geography allahabad university who has spared his precious time for us and grace his occasion grace this occasion with his presence and valuable speech thank you sir our sincere thanks goes to our respected lecturer in charge mr ishan ali sir for his support after that i want to express my special thanks to today's tlc and patron of this program respected dr madhup kumar bishwas sir for his warm welcome address i want to express my warm thanks to convener of this program dr nafisa banu madam assistant professor and hod of department of geography dukhulal nibaran chandra college and also thanks to organizing committee members mr gaurhuri mondu ms farana islam mr dilwar badsha i would like to express my special thanks to dr deepak bhattacharya convener of research and seminar committee our heartfelt thanks goes to our all faculty members and all non teaching staffs member of our college finally in the end i would extend my whole hearted gratitude to our illustrious and lovely students they are our pillar of strength thank you all for making this program a grand success 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर नफीजा मे आई टेक लीव नाउ यस सर सी यू थैंक यू थैंक यू लेट्स कंक्लूड दिस प्रोग्राम बाय रिमेम्बरिंग दिस एवरी डे शुड बी एनवायरमेंट डे लेट्स इंक्रीज द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड रिड्यूस डिस्ट्रक्शन बी कमिटेड टू सेविंग द एनवायरमेंट हैप्पी एनवायरमेंट डे 2022 हैप्पी एनवायरमेंट डे थैंक यू थैंक यू सर लाइक नहीं दे रहा होगा ठीक है ये 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 